Hey guys, welcome to Game Soup. My name's Joe. My name's Ed. We haven't recorded in a while. Brand. We were trying to finish this game before Ed it's... went on his vacation, but we didn't get it done in time. It's not gonna happen. We're not. We're never gonna finish the game. It's just ever. But Ed's back. I'm back. It's yeah. been about 11 days since we... Yeah, I think it's been 11 days since we last recorded. Almost two weeks. Did we... We did see this last time. Crazy Brand? Yeah, he's a real crazy guy. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I took a vacation. Uh, I think I just saw Ego Raptor in the background. Did on you? The billboard. Did you? That guy? Face the game? Face the game. Alright, let's wasn't. see if I get these controls. Probably should have uh, take it, taken a second yeah, look, to get the controls. look, isn't that Ego Raptor? Yeah, it is actually. Why did he, he must have pledged a lot for this game or something? Hey, maybe you think? Oh, is this is this your 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 controls? It is. It's your controls. Oh, I was the one who played last. Okay, should we come back in a minute? No, we're back. So at the top of the show, we wanted to talk about something that recently happened on the channel. Oh yeah, conspiracy theories. Yeah, we have conspiracy. Th Actually, we don't have any theories, Let's, but no. we're wondering if anyone else has any conspiracy theories we about want, it. We want you to create a conspiracy theory for the channel. I think that's a good way to put it, right? Yeah. And, so, uh, yeah. So the other day, I was looking at the channel, and I noticed that we had a lot less subs than we did the day before. Conspiracy. The day before we had sixty-two hundred and something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then the day, the next day, we had fifty-seven hundred. So we lost five hundred subs. And I looked it up on our Social Blade account, which is a website that tracks YouTube views and I think other social media. It, tra it tracks a lot of data about social media accounts whoa, whoa. and uh, it showed that it happened within uh, one second basically <laughs> one <laughs> second man those people it were really unhappy about once. we lost 500 or 500 and like change maybe did we put out like a really terrible video and 500 people just decided all at once and I'm not even sure if we put out a video that day I don't know if we did so and uh, recently we did start another oh. channel and we lost a bunch of subs. We lost one oh. to two hundred subs because we started a new channel that was only for the analysis videos. But no, you know what? I, well, you're right. I actually looked it up. The day that that video went up, the the announcement video, we only lost eighty four subs. The, yeah. the day it went up. So yeah, we, we I guess didn't over lose time. That many. And then yeah, over over yeah, time jerk. though, it looks it looks like we lost probably a little over a hundred, maybe two hundred at most. Yeah, but there were also six hundred people subscribed to that channel. So there are plenty of people who just you know are now subscribed to both channels. Right. Which is good. Thanks. So, thanks, thanks, thanks for the for double that, dipping. Guys. The double dipping is great. Thanks to the guys <laughs> that did sub to both. Oh, and that's thanks really to everybody, but we don't really need to thank the ones that unsubbed from this channel because they're not watching this. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Yeah, those guys. Now we're in our own little club, the actual, the Game Soup for Real Club. Yeah, this is the real Game Soup. In fact, there is no second channel. We if just did that. If you're watching Mighty Number no. Nine, Number no. Six, you're part of the real Game Soup. Yeah, that's that's the truth. I, 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 uh, I was gonna, I was gonna say that uh, if if you're still here, all the people that left, we just did Jesus. that to. Um, a lot of air dashing. Get rid of the non-believers, you might say. The people that didn't believe in Game Soup, and they're gone now. They're on the other channel. We never want to see them again. So we're just wondering what happened anyway with those 500 subs. You're heading into a tunnel. It might affect visibility. Oh, it's black. I can't see a thing. Yeah, we've done this part. Yeah, we've yeah. This part. And then we probably died at some times ago. Yeah, I think. Did, I don't even think we got to the boss. Did we get to the boss of this one? Oh, who knows? Probably I can't not. Even remember. Probably not. So the thing. We'll remember when we see it. So I have a theory. I have a conspiracy theory about this theory. It's not so crazy, though. And, and in fact, it's your idea. It's that somebody bought subs. Somebody who's... Oh, I swear yeah, to God, yeah. I would never buy subs. There's also views. more data that, that the viewers won't be able to get, which is... Uh, I just checked our analytics on our YouTube channel, yeah. on the, the YouTube analytics, and it doesn't show those 500 subs at all. They, never, like they never existed. That day, we actually gained, I don't know, 10 subs or something, according to YouTube analytics. We're actually up. But on Social Blade... But on Social Blade, we're down by 500, and our sub count actually is down by 500. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You but there's no, there's no evidence of it on YouTube. There's no historical marker on our YouTube analytics. I wonder it's if... very strange. I wonder if YouTube does some sort of smudging or... I forget what it's called in Reddit terms, but like blurring. So instead of having an actual exact count, they might add an extra one or two over time. And then over time, as we get more subs, maybe it just ended up being a little too many, a few too many. I don't know why they would do that. Yeah, it's and it was almost an even number. It was almost 500 even. That's, that's it was a little. It was a little over, I think. It's really strange. I don't understand what the possible. Oh my god, yeah, that the, fire is ridiculous. You see how bad that fire looks? Yeah. You know the, the theory that yeah the theory that Ed just put forth though was that maybe someone bought oh. subs 
subs for us. But who would do such which a is, thing? Yeah, it's kind of Jesus. It's kind of malicious. It's a malicious thing to do. Well, to buy subs for someone's channel without telling them, especially. Well, I mean, please don't buy subs for our <laughs> channel if you're listening to this. I think most people would be would be uh, happy if, if one of their fans bought them views, you know, or bought them subs. I wouldn't I, be happy. I don't think it's malicious. Nobody would go out of their way and pay a hundred bucks for some no-name YouTube nah, channel like us. I don't want to be. I mean, we we want to lie like as a as a joke, like as humor, but we don't want to be frauds. Well, no. We're not fraudsters here. We're, our sub count is actual, our actual sub count and our view counts are the actual view counts that we get on our videos. We're not buying subs or views. Maybe it's just some mistake. Maybe it's nothing. You know? I'm, what is going on here? Yeah, yeah. Like, like you said, maybe it's, maybe it's something, some correction, some correction thing that, that YouTube runs. <laughs> Who knows? But, we're just wondering if you guys, if anybody out there, understands how that works. I guess we've taken enough time oh with that God. on this episode, but I just wanted to get it out of the way close to the top of the episode, so anybody listening would uh, would hear it, and maybe somebody who knows something can let us know. Yeah, if how you, did we lose 500 subs if you work for in YouTube, one second? If you are YouTube, let us know. Let us know what happened. 500 subs. That's, uh, that's a lot of subs for, for, for a no-name channel like us. Was it like twelve percent or something of, of our of our fans? It's a pretty fans. big chunk. This is the crappiest highway ever. All these monsters are they're on. They're really it. bumper to bumper here. That's the thing. They're all going exactly the same speed too. Well, yeah, I think we did get to this boss because I recognize that attack that attack pattern. He does something like that while you're fighting. Him. Oh, yeah, I. Oh. This is a hard level. This level was hard for all the wrong reasons though. Like you have those those uh, those signs that are coming in from the right side and just knocking you off, and of course if you fall it's instant death. And then these guys are positioned absolutely perfectly to just knock you off. You I know because they these, keep dropping those little dudes. I think that these cars and buses have a really cool design to them. They look really futuristic. Eh? No, I'm just kidding. They look <laughs> actually less modern than cars that we have today. Although this game does take place in the present day, so those might just be oh, yeah. Mazda Miatas. Present? Those? You think that's a I, Mazda I Miata? I don't even know what they no. look like. I, I Give don't know me um, about cars. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> goodbye. Hello. There we go. Well, oh, I haven't tried fun. this weapon yet. That's real fun. This weapon. That's this, the uh, transformation. That's the mic dozer, right? Mic dozer, yeah. I think. Pretty sweet. Why, Beck? Why won't you give up? Oh, More dramatic way of speaking. Yeah. Lots and lots of those dot dot dots. What are those called? Ellipses. Ellipses. Yeah. Ellipses. You know, I gave this game some uh, some leeway. When we recorded last week, and now that I've watched the the fallout, the horrendous fallout on the internet, and now that I've had some time to digest the gameplay and watch the videos that we've had, I would like to skip this. Um, now that I've seen all that, no, we should probably learn how to use this weapon. No leeway, no leeway at all. Like that, you just ram him. You know, it's, it's weak to this though. It doesn't seem like he's that particularly that weak to it. Oh, maybe I don't know. You gonna dash him? You got him. Yeah, I think I'm gonna die. In fact. You got an axle. You don't have any axle recover. No axle. Wasn't axle a character in Mega Man? Yes. Yeah. In uh, Mega Man X. Cool. Back. Why does he yell your name at the end? He's already defeated you. He wants the dust particles of you <laughs> to hear him. He wants to collect the dust. All right. Let's let's uh, let's equip. What do you think? Look look up how to use the weapon. Maybe uh, I think it's in the menu. Game options. Here we go. Is it a... Uh, oh, is that Battalion? No, that's not Battalion. So. Seismic? There you go. Hold down the attack button to charge your lower half to Caterpillar Treads. Charging them into enemies. That's what you were just doing, right? Right. Okay, you can destabilize them. You can launch objects. We don't have... Uh, I don't know if we have the weakness item. The Mic Dozer. We looked it up because, you know. So I don't know if we have that weapon. But you know what? I think we'll beat. I think we'll beat him anyway. Okay. You just have to be confident. Okay. In your own abilities and your brain. How bad could it be? I'm confident in your brain, but I'm more. I'm confident in my oh. abilities and your brain. That didn't... So I'll hold the right side of the controller. You hold the left side. And oh we'll, yeah, we'll there you see, go. We'll see how we do here. All right, that's actually what we're doing right now. And it's uh, not Choose working out. Some theater of the mind there. You also have to imagine what we look like. Oh yeah. You, you don't have to imagine. You can probably find a video of us on the internet somewhere. In fact, I know for a fact. There is one. <laughs> there is one video on YouTube that we are uh, that we are in. Yeah, at, you, at least one that I can think of. You know, I think about that video a lot. 
but it has about uh, four views, so I don't think you'll be able to find it. And three of them are me! Back! Shut up! Shut up! Huh, this isn't going so well. Maybe we should, uh... I don't know, what do you want to do here? What do we have? We have five weapons. Which, which five? We have Pyrogen, Cryosphere, Battalion, Seismic, and Aviator. We're weak to Mike Dozer. We don't have Mike Dozer. Isn't, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, though. That seismic rec, rec selection yeah. seismic. Oh yeah, because oh no, I think you're right because uh, yeah, because the boss's name was Mike Mick. Yeah, Mick Jagger. So this is the right weapon. This is the right weapon, but he doesn't seem to be particularly weak to it. Well, he's definitely weaker to it than the uh, the ice was. The ice did almost nothing. And also, it's kind of awkward. It's kind of an awkward skill to use because you just have to run into him. Yeah, and, and get, you wind up getting hurt. Yeah, you almost guarantee that you take damage. Can you can you shoot when you're using this weapon? Uh, no, because it's it's your attack mm. button. Well, that's pretty amazing. So I wonder if you had just have to dodge, you have to play dodge, and then go in for a quick hit. Yeah, I don't, I don't really. Oh. I don't know if these mechanics gel too well, which which happened in a previous boss. Yeah, the ice boss. You might the be right. The mechanic of the, the weapon that you used to fight that ice boss did not really gel very well no. with the mechanic of the weapon that you used to fight it. And this boss is all about, you know, melee and, and coming up to you and attacking you, but his weakness is a thing that demands that you be in close proximity to him. That's yeah. really not, uh, that's not great. That's not a great idea to do. Because you're almost... Oh, this thing. I remember now. I do like that it does warn you, but then it doesn't really warn you at the end. <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> Those doesn't... warning things don't really help very much. It also doesn't tell you how much time you have, or what the uh, the time intervals are. Alright. Well, that was uh, garbage. I'm pretty sure we need to get this weapon, though, in order to, to progress. I think you're right. The way we looked at it. Because we're going to need his weapon to fight another guy, and then the weapon that we kill... Uh... Huh? What? That we get from the guy we kill with the brand What blade. are you saying? I hear lots of words. Yeah, that too many words and really I'm not really saying much. Here, I have an idea. And the idea is that someone mentioned this on one of the videos. Let's just give ourselves nine lives. Because this game... It can be a game sometimes. A game, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I replied to that comment and said we didn't want to be wimps. What, really? You said that? Like, I don't care, I want to be a wimp. I remember if I said the word wimp. This I'm game... Sure I didn't. This game is not deserving of your full well i know i shouldn't say that i'm i'm fine i don't care about giving giving us nine lives because you you said that you like the game less now that you've seen some other people what other people have been saying about well it. not that not that my opinion is based on other people's impressions sure, but i've just had time to digest flying uh, you know we're i think we're about to have a falling out here what? on gs oh because i think this game's really good i think you're totally lying you're just lying sir you're lying. Okay, maybe not really good, but I still think I like it. Why don't I just take damage? I still think I would put this game in a category of, of like. Uh, so, bet okay, so more than average, more than a perfect five. Oh, okay. You would do that, for real? You would give it a, like, a decent score? No, I would give it, like, probably in the C range, C-ish, C-ish range. I guess. Like I'm not gonna play it again after oh we God. after we play it on GS. That's the thing, though. Any Mega Man game you would play again. Yeah, I would probably. I've played most of the Mega Man games more than once. A lot of the reviews that I read after our our first play session said a lot of the same things. It just feels uninspired. It just doesn't feel real. It feels like there's nothing in it. It's uh, it's like the Twix bar of video games. Wait, what's wrong with Twix bars? Well, I've like, been eating those lately. Oh, they're delicious. But I mean, uh, you know, it's it's empty. It has no soul. It's empty calories, so to speak. There's nothing substantial inside. Hmm. You know what I mean? Do you get yeah, that? Yeah, I think I think you're right. And that's uh, that's probably the biggest gripe. It's not the worst sin you could ever. Okay. It's not the worst sin you could ever. Um, what's the word? Do. Commit. That's the one. But you know, it's uh, it's uninspired. Kind of bland. It doesn't stand out. It's also not terrible. It's in that this awkward. Annoying me. This is really annoying. I. Maybe this is a way to switch weapons. That's the thing. Is this to force you to switch weapons? But not what if you don't? One. What if you don't have the weapon? No, not this one. Mm. Yeah. Like he just infinitely spawning these guys. Press B. Press B. There What's you go. This, this one. Oh over. yeah, this one. Fuck yeah. So long, sucker. Anyway, I think we've griped. Oh, okay, I don't want to go. I do not want to go. So I've griped plenty about it already. Nothing. Nobody. Nobody uh, hasn't heard before. Is that even gra grammatically something? Anyway, that fire looks terrible. That's the point. That's the point of the little rant, you know? Yeah, like, 
Well, we said it before. We're probably saying a lot of the same things over and over again, but $4 million. <laughs> $4 million! Oh yeah, I learned today that Shovel Knight was 300 k $300,000. Yeah. Have you played Shovel Knight? It's the best platformer I've played in 10 I, years. Uh, in 10 years, Joe. I have to admit, I have something to admit. You haven't played Shovel Knight. You're a fool. I have something to admit oh. today on Game Soup. Yeah? It's a very deep secret of mine. Yeah? That secret is, yeah, I haven't played Shovel Knight. Well, you're missing out. I it's... played Rogue Legacy. We played this. We played a shit yeah. ton of that. We did, we did. I played Spelunky. I played most of the big indie games of the last few years, but no. Shovel Knight is not one of them. Yeah, you really should. It's absolutely worth your time. They had a budget of $300,000. They got music by some of the greatest names in gaming. Who? The guy that did the Crypto oh, Necro Dancer soundtrack? I'm um, blanking on the name. But Savant. It wasn't Savant. No, it wasn't Savant. Uh, I think they also got one of the original composers from one of the Mega Man games. Composers, not Componers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Poners? Uh, what if they were really called that? Pianists and Componers. <laughs> <laughs> I keep sorry. I try not to make those retarded jokes, but... But you did anyway. Yeah. I'm just kidding. It's not Grant... I can only think of Grant Kirkhope right now. It's not Grant Kirkhope because he works for Rare. Tommy Tallarico? It's not Tommy Tallarico because he's relevant? Question mark? I don't think so. Is he still around? No. I don't know. What's Tommy Tallarico worked on? He did Earthworm Jim. I know he did Earthworm Jim, and he did a bunch of, like, the 16-bit era games, but I he, can't think of anything that he's done recently, or that I, at least not that I know of. That he, no, I can't either. You know, I met him one time at did a really? gaming convention. Yeah, at a small-time game convention. Oh. And I got him to sign a copy of Earthworm Jim 2. That's cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. He seemed nice. <laughs> That's what everybody says about anybody that they meet, though. He's nice. Yeah, he's nice. He's nice. He's not a total jerk. That's not something that I really... I'd rather that somebody be real and be a total jerk than just be fake and nice. I guess if they're actually nice, I it's guess. Cool, but... I mean, I mean, there's something to say about manners, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being nice to people. Especially fans. Yeah, for sure. You should be... What's... Oh, God. What's the... It's gonna bug me, Joe. It's gonna bug me what the guy's name was. Uh... Was, who did who did Necro Dancer's music? Uh, Bruno Mars. No, no, no. Uh -huh. I literally can't remember his name right now. Yeah, okay. I can't either. No, that was, yeah, yeah, that's all. All right. We're gonna do it again. Was it Bruno Mars? That's an actual guy, though, right? That's not like a game composer. I think. Although I don't know any music by Bruno Mars. Do you? No. I don't really follow those type of bands. What is it? You know it's a band. I asked you and you said you didn't say anything. I don't know, man. You said it's a band. What kind of band is it? You said you don't follow the kind of music. What kind of music is it? What do you know? No, I don't follow, like, Bruno Mars kind of music. Isn't that just, like, rock music? I don't, I don't know. I really follow rock music. I'm asking you. And you're not delivering. Nah. I used to follow okay. video game music. I probably would have known, like, years ago, when I was... I used to be really into following all the composers and collecting all the albums, but it just takes so much time. And now I mostly just listen to rap music. Right. That's just like game music, though. Which, well, I listened to rap music for a long time, too, but I used to follow game music even closer. Yeah, Shovel Knight has one of the best soundtracks I've heard in recent memory. I think. God, it's so, uh, it's very, man, that game is more Mega Man than Mighty Number no. 9, in a lot of ways. That sounds pretty sweet. It's amazing. I'm really surprised you haven't played it yet. Yeah, it, 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 it does seem like the kind of game that I would have played by now. It's yeah. like probably the only one that I haven't played of all the games that, are, of all the great indie games that I should have played. Yeah. I didn't play much Crypto the Necro Dancer, though. Yeah, I guess that's, oh, God. That's, that's a little more niche. I'm not as uh, rhythmically talented as Ed, though. I mean, it's it's not a okay. It's a, it's a minor, it's a moderate component of the game, but it's not going to make or break your experience. You'll still be able to play it and beat it. Oh, great! Ed's pretty good at composing music, and he's played many musical instruments in his life. And I've played one musical instrument in my life, and it was the flout. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, Don't. It was the flout. You were a flautist. Yeah. Doesn't that mean tortilla? Flautist? Flautist? I think it means tortilla in uh, Spanish or Mexican. Hmm. So, I always tell people that you've played the tortilla. Cool. And then I, I uh, 
correct it by saying that you were mentally challenged in band class, and the only instrument they had that you could play was the tortilla, because the flute was too complicated. I feel like we should talk more about the design of the game than, than just talking about tortillas and nonsense, because we got a comment from someone who's been watching it, who's oh, been watching this series because wait, some, of our somebody was watching our analysis this? content. Somebody yeah. was watching this series? Yeah. We're getting, there's there's views, yeah, somebody's got to be watching it. Alright, who, who are you? Yeah, Who leave, are you? Leave a comment and, and answer our question about the views, if you know. Or not the views, the subscribers. Why the hell did we lose 500 subs in one second? Yeah. How's that possible? <laughs> one <laughs> second. I love it because it's not even um, it's not even exaggerating. You're really kicking the shit out of Literally. this guy. Literally. Yeah, it what? turns out his weakness is getting shot. Yeah, the, <laughs> it turns out that his weakness is not oh. the weakness that's listed that he's supposedly weak to. But this, what, what are you even supposed to do here? It seems fair. <laughs> Do you have any excels? I don't know. I don't know we have seven lives, so you gotta. Oh gotta god, go yeah, seven lives, just like a cat who's died twice. Oh man, I'm starting to get back into the swing of doing games. So when, yeah, when we take these long breaks, we need to be recording at least once a week, which is usually all we do is once a week. But if we're not recording once a week, I kind of get out of it. Here's the thing: if you're still listening to this episode, go back to the beginning and scrub through the first 20 minutes. It's probably not as good as I remember it being. No. Actually, don't because it might. Whenever make you... we listen back to the show, a lot of the times we'll stop when we stop recording an episode in Game Soup. We'll look at each other and we'll be like, "That was terrible." Most or, of the or, time, or that that was good. We even put that up, and we all, we almost always put it up. I think there's only one time that we didn't put it up, but oh god, the the then, drunk then... the drunk night. No. Oh, then you didn't see that the the Gungeon Drunk Night episode. Oh yeah, that one never went up, but we could put we could probably no, put that. Oh, we can't, we nope. can't put that I, one up. I rendered it so that we can uh, we can put it into the annals of history and never look at it again. It's bad. It's real oh, bad. Okay, so that's happened two times then. Two where times. We didn't air the where we actually didn't air an episode because it was so bad. But, but hey, for the most part, we put everything up. And when we listen back to it, the point I was trying to get to after all that long-winded talking <laughs> was that the episodes are always better when we listen back than than we think they were. Usually, yeah, yeah, they are. Almost always. 95% of the time. Oh, he's going to do it again. You know what? I'm okay with that, though, because that means we have a track record of 2 out of 400. Track record. I said track record instead of track record. Uh, so what's that? 1 out of 200? Yeah. 0.5% of our videos are so bad that they will never make it to the internet. Yeah. The other 99.5% are just bad. One of them was our first... The other one that didn't make it was our first take of the Code of Princess episode. It oh, was yeah. Awful. It was really bad. I couldn't stop ogling. Joe had to uh, restrain me. That's not even true. It's not no, even it was, true. It was, uh... Well, we, we oh, explained God. why on that episode. So if you want to hear why we why we re-recorded it, <laughs> just watch the episode called Code of Princess. It's a really cool game, and it was a good episode, This our second take. And we got a lot of hits on that episode. You know why? You know why, because you did it. Thumb yeah, the title card. Thumbnails, baby. Yeah. People love thumbnails. I mean, specifically about them, I don't know, but I, I guess what people just... What the fuck was that? Did you see that shit? Oh, no, I didn't see what happened. Yeah, well, I did, what, see, yeah, I did yeah. see it. I, I'm, how... Maybe just to memorize it and just not be in the spot. I, I don't... I don't actually know. Maybe that's it? I feel like even for... I don't know. I'm I, glad you're fighting this boss instead of me. He's actually not bad, except for that one move. I'm just getting hit like an idiot. And that move really does a lot of damage. That's yeah. That's really the, the problem with it. You, you've been playing perfectly, except for this. Jump, and then go over here? Oh. That was also one of the other complaints levied at the game. Jump, and then go over here. Yeah, yeah. good advice, yeah. Joe. Is that uh, getting hit takes a huge amount of energy, of health from you. Which is, which is true, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Do we have an Excel now? Did he drop an extra Excel? Did he? Bar? He might have. Hey, baby, give me that Excel. No, he didn't. Bar we'll, we'll get some. We're from, hoping. Uh, I mean, we got nine lives, so at some point, he's probably going to take pity on us, and that's when we're going to beat this guy. Yeah, maybe. It's That's really pathetic, though, that we have to be, you know, have pity taken upon us just to win. Yeah, this... But oh, come on. For the reasons we described earlier, the weapon that this guy's supposed to be weak to sucks to fight him with, and is actually worse than the Buster, which is why he's using the Buster yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And that stupid fucking attack, which could be really cool if, he give you, if it gave you some time to react to it. We love those, uh... What do you call them? Warnings? You know, when uh, when attacks are telegraphed. Yeah, telegraphed. Is that what you mean? We love, yeah, we love when, a, when an attack is graphically telegraphed. There you go, perfectly said. You know why people love those? Everybody loves those, by the way. It's not just us, because they make games fair to play. Yeah, it makes it fair, and it makes it feel like feel like you were able to dodge it when it was, yeah, when it was fair. If You, you, you get the sense of accomplishment of dodging 
a dangerous looking attack without wow that's a lot of buffs it is that's the thing and there's no there's no frustrate there's there's less frustration because you're it's not a cheap shot you you could see it coming in an action game if there's no telegraphing then there's no skill there's nothing you could possibly do now you could memorize but that yeah, means that you skill. have to do it over and over again. Yeah, it's, I mean, still, it's still skill. If you to consider me memorizing to things. To memorize it. Patterns, I guess. Because But that's more, not a, the more you play a game, the better you, you're not you shouldn't expect to be able to beat a boss the first time you get to no, it. No, no. So I think yeah, there's probably some balance. Like if you make it too easy, like you make the tele everything very, very well telegraphed and And so that the player's gonna be able to dodge everything easily on the first try, that's probably too easy, but Yeah. I don't know. That's what I mean, though. Like, memorizing things, that's not a skill, uh, okay? That's not a skill just in video games. That's a life's skill. And that's not a skill that using using that kind of skill in games, or using a, a game that requires you to do that, it doesn't really enhance a game. You know, games have their own strengths and weaknesses, and memorizing things should not be one of the, the main points of your game. It just, it never feels good. I don't know. Am I, am I wrong? Um, in a shoot 'em up game. That feels good? To memorize does, things? Yeah. That's pretty much what the whole game, a shoot 'em up game, is all about. We used to say shmups a lot on this channel. I, I prefer to call them shoot 'em ups now. I think that's a, I think that's a more respectful to the genre. He just thanked us. Hey, dude, thanks for bashing my dick in. <laughs> Brandish. Get my dick bashed in we're since making, 2016. I think we're making the most awkward and annoying sex jokes in this episode than we ever have. Okay, that's two. Come on. I know, but. For, okay, first of all, that I wasn't a two. sex joke. It was a, it was a genitals joke. Because you said dick. No, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm. I thought it was funny. Caw. Look, Caw. Man, look Caw. Man. Caw. I'm just saying for anybody who's watching that no. that isn't used to us, we don't usually make these obvious stupid sex jokes. But I, I thought the two we made in this episode were particularly funny. Here's what I'm thinking. It's time to appeal to the lowest common denominator. Is that say? Does that oh, you need to Dinah? fight Dinah. Yeah, you need to fight Dinah right now. Electric. Because look, it's gonna say you advice. It's say gonna you. say you advice. Yeah, very fucking good. <laughs> All right, tell you what. Say, say me some advice. I just got really sidetracked. I had a topic I was running on. Mem memorization and how shmups memorization. are, shmup yeah, yeah. Shmups are memorization parties. Yes. That's and it feels good though because the, every time you play the game you get a little bit better at it and you remember where where the the enemies are going to come out and it, it increases your score as well as lowers the lowers your, your death. So right, there's, right, there but, are some games where it's cool. But I have a counter argument. It's, it's not the memorizing itself that's fun. It's the memorizing that allows you to get further in the game which is fun. Memorizing in itself is not inherently a valuable thing, especially for games. You just you feel you feel better every time you get a little bit further in the game, and then yeah. you feel better after you're able to beat the game on one credit. You feel better when you're able to increase your score. And yeah. the, the progression in a, a shoot 'em up is it's a lot slower, actually. Believe it or not, it's slower. Even though the game takes 15 minutes to beat if you use continues and beat it on your first try, which anybody can do. Even me? No. Yeah. Well, anybody. Yeah, anybody can beat a shmup that has infinite credits on it, which is most of them. What are we looking at here? Is this? You want to drop down? Oh. Yeah. You remember this, huh? Yeah. Oh. Okay. But I... that's not really beating the game. Beat it. To beat a shmup, you have to beat it on one credit. That's that's actually considered beating it. So it is takes. That, is it that the rule? Yeah. It actually takes a lot more patience and time to beat a shoot 'em up and to get good at it than it does to get good at most RPGs. To finish most RPGs, a lot of a lot of laymen would look at would look at a shoot a shoot 'em up game and think that just because you can beat it in 15 minutes on your first try with continues, it's Go. it's a worse it's a lesser game it's a worse design game because there's less of a game but there's actually a lot more to that mm -hmm. a lot more to every second of the game is carefully every second of a shmup is carefully considered whereas in an RPG there's a lot of grinding and a lot of uh, a lot of repetitive things happening. How do I get these things to go upstairs, man? All I'm trying to do is attack that guy above me, and I can't do it. Oh, we have this, though. That's kind of cool. <laughs> wow. I'm hyper. I kind of like this guy. I kind of like this ability. He's quick, is man. It, is it like a slashing attack is your main attack, and then your charge attack is, is like a... Uh, oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Do you have like a combo with your, your slash, or is it just like a single slash? Let's find out. Okay, cool. <laughs> Normal cut. Oh, it doesn't consume energy, so now we're zero. All right, stance. So you hold, you charge for blade techniques. Release to just do that, whatever that thing we just saw. You can do a downward slash. Uh, oh, blade attacks cut projectiles. So, but they leave you open. So it's possible to, oh, but it's possible to dash cancel. Can you, so what's the, the air attack? You can like slash down? 
release the attack. Releasing the attack in midair while pressing down will make you slash straight downwards. Oh, okay. So it's a charge, and then you slash straight downwards. Yeah, but can it's. We, can I'm, we test that out? No. Oh, okay. No. How dare you? Uh, let's go back. Oh, that was it. Wait, how do I get there? The Give red me. one. Oh, is that the red one. It is. There we go. So let's see if I charge up here. That. Okay. That's All right. And there's no combo. It's just a slash. Oh, there's okay. no combo. That's slightly disappointing. But I do like this. That's I, li I kind of like the design. Slightly disappointing. What? Uh, that's to be expected. Just like everything else about the game. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kind of partial to ninjas, I guess. But bring it on. I think, bring it a, on. I think it's a pretty cool looking transformation. Oh, check that out. Well, it, actually, it does seem super OP because it cuts projectiles and it doesn't consume energy. That seems really cool. Does that not sound OP to you? It looks like. It looks like it plays more like uh, Zero it does. And he even looks like Zero. Man, yeah, think, yeah, a little bit. You think that's what they were going does for? Does he have the scarf? I don't think he has the scarf. He though. does. Oh, yeah, he does. He's, he has a scarf. It's just Zero. It's just Zero. Hey, Zero doesn't have a scarf. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> asked, does he have a scarf? <laughs> how did, wait, how, why did you even think to ask that? So why <laughs> why did you even think to ask Zero that? Zero doesn't have a scarf? Exclamation point question mark. That'll be a good title for this episode, but the title is going to be something about the 500 subs okay. because we want to know what happened there. That's the most important part of the episode. You know, the, the thing is about okay, okay, we're going to talk about we're, making titles. We are all what? over the place on this episode. No, go ahead though. I want you to finish. I want you to go into this topic. Let's talk, you and me, viewer, about making titles for your your YouTube videos. You see those teeth? Oh, that was weird. What's going on here? Yeah. Let's talk about making titles. When we record an episode of Game Soup. We usually forget about it because uh, it takes a couple days to render, edit, get it uploaded. You know, by that point, everything that we said. By that point, even if somewhere in the episode we've been like, let's uh, let's name this episode, even if we come up with the perfect name, the perfect name, we don't remember it. Yeah, we never remember it. It was like three days ago. We should write it. We should probably write it down. Writing things down is the key to success in life. Writing things yeah. down is what you do in, in the Stone Age. But if we should just write it down though, because here's the thing: I'm not going to scrub through this entire video again. Not well, we already that. know what we're calling it, though. We, we know for sure is that it's going to be something about the 500 subs. Yeah, but what about the zero joke? Who cares about the zero joke? You! Zero joke? Me. Hey, look, it's zero. Have you made any good jokes? Oh, yeah, we made a few. I, think. I okay. made a dick joke. Yeah, a dick joke. We made making a dick joke. Big dick. Check it out. You ever, you ever, <laughs> you ever watch Pro Jared? No, I never heard oh, of Jesus. It. Yeah, he's a video game reviewer online. I think he's part of Normal Boots. I don't know, he's like, um, he's... Oh, yeah, we need to get on Normal Boots. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, let's let's have a campaign to get sponsored by... Not sponsored, but let's join Normal Boots. Yeah. Then we can go hang out with all those guys. Peanut Butter Gamer. Who's that? I only know JonTron. Oh, JonTron too. Yeah, I guess, I guess he's okay. Wait, look at the size of those turbines. I've, I've heard of in. Peanut Butter Gamer. I don't, I don't think I ever watched any of his videos, though. Hey, he's, he's funny. I don't really watch LPs or gaming videos. <laughs> you don't watch gaming videos? <laughs> I, I watch a ton of not gaming very videos. Often. Oh. To be honest, I really don't. Oh, you're missing out. Which is part of why I think GS is so unique. Because one of the members doesn't watch gaming videos. <laughs> That's... That is a horrible reason for something to be unique. Uh, anyway, the point is, if you're going to make a YouTube video, and you want a title, make sure you write it down, or else you're going to forget, and you're going to hate yourself. Maybe not hate yourself, maybe that's kind of strong, but you're going to regret it. This is OP as shit. What is? Bro. No. This weapon. Oh yeah, it is. You're right. You are right. No. Suck it. You hey. Get out of here with the air. Look. Not- Oh. Yeah, I was- What? That's really awesome. That's some Strider shit right there. So wait, this really- It feels more like Strider, actually. Is this- You can just go straight through, uh, shields with this weapon, too. Yeah. I'm really liking this. When I- When it's my turn to play, I'm just gonna use this. So this is just- This is the Metal Blade of the game. I, I'm thinking. But it's- you have to get close, that's the only thing. Yeah. It's close range, so the trade-off is that you gotta get close. Yeah, but you also have some protection against projectiles because it, you know, cuts them in half. And it shoots- it goes really fast, too. Really, really fast. You can attack quite- quite quickly. But yeah, I guess for long-range stuff. That's the other thing about the main mechanic that I don't love. This game throws a lot of enemies in groups at you, like whether- whether on a straight line like we just saw here. Yeah. Or just you know all together. Yeah, so you and so you need to have the 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 buff the buff yeah the buff that shoots through enemies. You have if to have get, that if you get that yeah if you get that one power up the red one the fire one this one yeah yeah perfect, perfect but, timing. But Thank I mean you're saving me from my bumbling speech. Well no no that that wasn't was that the point my point was was that oh yeah oh yeah this 
my point was that the main mechanic in the game is uh, dashing into enemies to absorb their power. Yeah. Which, if you're going to dash into a line of enemies, necessitates that you've already weakened all of them at the same right. time. Yeah. So, by and large, that's probably not going to be happening too often. But then, if you try to dash into just one, you're probably going to take damage because you know these yeah, other guys are still dash shooting into at the you. Other one. Yeah, or they'll shoot at you while you're doing it. So that's that's yet another example, like and the one we just talked about, of mechanics being at odds with each other in the game. It's also a mechanic. It's a game where you your main weapon is ranged, and you have to get close to the enemy to get the maximum bonus yeah. from the from hitting the enemy. Yeah. You, to get that 100% score bonus, you need to get close to them. I'm sure it all sounded okay on paper, but they should have gone back to the drawing board at some point when they realized this wasn't going to work. Just, just They could have just made Mega Man X. They they had so much to draw from. They had so many great titles. They could have just stolen from that. I mean, I mean do, you, do you remember Mega Man X? No, what's that? <laughs> I think the first time I played it was over at your house when we were kids. Really? I think you had rented it. Yeah, it's yeah. my favorite Mega Man game. And we thought it was Mega Man 10. <laughs> was, we were like, did, did they just skip like four Mega Man games to make Mega Man 10? And then they finally actually made Mega Man 10. Yeah. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if it was... I think it was okay. I think I, it I'm, was received well. I didn't play it, though. I guarantee it I was played better nine. than this. I played a little bit of 9. It seemed fine. Yeah, but yeah. I never beat 9 and 10. I never actually I mean, there were them or got into them. They were old school revivals. They did exactly what people wanted out of a Mega Man game. I think so, A new yeah. old Mega Man it seemed game. Like, it seemed like they were received pretty well. Yes. Oh, yeah, this guy. Cringe dude. Cringe lady. What was her weakness again? Uh, the, the slasher. The, the weapon you've been using. Oh, yeah. This. Yeah, maybe it's because oh, this, like, my. cuts a cord. I guess. She's corded. I don't know if there... Is there any logic to that? Oh, even? you can kill these easily with that. Oh, yeah, maybe oh, that's... Oh, fuck yeah. You see yeah. that? You don't have to yeah. use your back dash? Oh, that Thank was awesome. God. That was incredible. Wow. Oh, I'm really, going to take damage, though. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> You're not going to take any damage. Well, I was about to. She's about to explode me. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. She she does that. She brings the... Do we have a... Oh, we don't have a... Uh. I might just die here dash, again. Dash, dash, dash into her. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Mega Man, like, the older games try to induce some logic. Induce, in part, you know, for, like, Mega Man 2, I guess, and Mega Man 3, sort of. But after that, they just went crazy, and this is in the crazy territory. Like, if that's the reason that I you cut the cord on this electric boss, that's ridiculous. That should... That's insane. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's you're you're reaching a little bit if that's if that's what you're You gotta jump for. around and press A. There we go. Jump around and press A, that's saying the same thing twice. It is. A makes you jump. It is. Cool. Well I was jumping around in real life too. I can attest to that. It's tea time here at Game Soup. Here at Game Soup, we drink a lot of different kinds of tea. We like green tea. Thanks for watching. <laughs> the end of the episode. We, I think we, we'll probably end it after this. You think? Yeah. This whole episode has, has just been a huge failure on my part. I'm so sorry. We keep saying we want to finish the series. We're going to finish it. Well, we'll finish it someday. Maybe not today. I think we'll finish it today. Unless the, unless there's a really hard last boss or something that well, we just can't beat. You think? I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. I think that's what happens, actually. Yeah. That's that's what From I heard. From what I've heard, yeah, there's one there's some part, it's either the last boss or something later in the game that's gonna that's gonna destroy us. Come here. Yeah, I really like that attack. Yeah. What was that? Oh it's, I just it's got... just like Strider and Strider 2, there's an attack that he does something very similar to that. Come here, come here! There you go. It is a cool I'm attack. A, I'm a pretty huge Strider 2 fan. Are you? Yeah. I'm a Strider fan too. Get it? Two? No, two? You're not. <laughs> no, you're not. you're not. Well, you're not wrong. In Strider fact, is... Strider is actually probably my favorite video game character of all time. I've actually never played a Strider game. Wait, your favorite game character ever? Probably. What about Beck from Mighty Man Number no. 9? <laughs> <laughs> huh? I think Beck from Mighty Number no. 9 is no one's favorite video game character. Yeah, okay, here's the thing. Could this be anybody's favorite game ever? Yeah, okay, you, you know how... There's gotta be... Somebody out there who's who loves Mega Man Five or something. Yeah, that's the thing. And yeah, for every bad game weird, out there, some weird title. No or matter Arkista's Ring for oh, NES, yeah, that's which my we favorite. recently played on the channel. That that episode just went up. Oh yeah, it did actually. Oh, I got a horn. Oh yeah, I didn't put up that Bubble Bobble the episode of games we never played with yeah. the Bubble Bobble Why? character. I was looking at the episode and I didn't really like it that much. I liked the one where we played Arkista's Ring more, so I put that one up first. All right, all right. I'm thinking that that one with the Bubble Bobble title card should be. Uh, I'm thinking that that should be like lost a content. long lost content episode similar to Chavez. 
Right, but that's actually funny. That's actually, like, yeah, that's a fun episode. It's less funny than I wanted it to be, but I think because of the the novelty has worn off for us. Yeah, maybe it, it's it's good though. Rinna tea. Isn't the tea supposed to be orange too? Probably. I designed her to evolve by assimilating other robots. I'm capabilities. not even paying attention to this. Oh, I uh, I am. Not. We've recovered from each of the Haywire Mighty Numbers. Wait, we didn't... Aren't we still missing one? Yeah. The structure is clever concise. There's no doubt it's my code. Alright. Oh, that voice acting, dude. Oh, it's the greatest. Speaking of voice acting, you know what just came out a couple days ago? Zero Time Dilemma? Which is the third game in the Zero Escape series. Good voice acting on that game. Really excellent voice acting. Cool. It's amazing to see the, the, the huge disparity. Disparity? The huge you, would, range. you would think it would be easy to be a voice actor. You would think anybody would be able to jump in and just do a good job, but... I mean, if, if it's done well, it, it appears to be easy. Yeah. You know, like, with most things, you know? But, like, I feel like I could do it, but I bet if I jumped in and tried to do it, I couldn't do it. No. I, it's, like, it's like being a rapper. Like, it sounds... It sounds easy, especially like the easier swag style of rap, like the a lot of the more the more modern rap, how it sounds like. And you would think anybody would be able to jump in and just do it, but if you got if you jumped if you got in the booth and tried to record a rap song and you're not a rapper, garbage. It's gonna be garbage. Yeah, absolutely. Even if it's a very easy song to perform, counter. It sounds like a very easy song to perform. What's Counter Shade Week Two? Electricity, right? Fuck yeah. Are we, uh, are we gonna call the eps ep here, or should we, uh... How long did we go? What was that, like 45 it's minutes? like 40 minutes. We should probably call it and we'll do this on the next step. This place must have its own power grid. Dudes. Oh, maybe, she t maybe she turns off the power and he can't aim at us? With his snipers? This makes that I hope really so. Easy. She should just unlock the real Mighty Number no. 9 instead of the joke version. That would be cool. See, a lot of things that look easy are really not that easy. Like making video games. Tightrope walking. Actually, making video games has never looked easy to me. And that's what we'll start with on our next episode of Game Soup.